so let's try to tune these four elements for resonance for the configuration. So let's connect our cable to SWR and I'm using a portable radio centered at the amateur frequency band which is 1.5 MHz. And let's see the calibration. Our calibration needle is correct. Uh, registering uh, proper calibration. Full scale deflection. Now let's switch to SWR mode. We are in calibrate position at the moment. Switch to SWR position and see. SWR response the video quality is not so good so much clear let's press the PTT and see if the needle will deflect as you can see we are transmitting uh, so it means we have a one is to one reading on our antenna or SWR at 1.5 MHz so to tune the antenna properly we need to do the same uh, calibration on both antennas so let's move to another antenna and let's see let's set the antenna to have the same SWR before configuring on twin configuration. So let's move the cable. Oops. This is the left side antenna the other one is the right side antenna make sure that you secure the PL259 connector so that no Go back to our SWR meter and to calibrate position. See the deflection of our SWR meter. Uh, we still have the same full deflection on the SWR read, uh, readout. So let's move to SWR position. And see the deflection. Mm -hmm. So much clear on our video. So let's press the PTT and see if we have a deflection. Yes, it's barely moving as well. So we have the most of the reading on the antennas. So we are ready to configure the antenna for twin configuration to put a facing harness on the antenna and let's see the readout again so let's do that so my facing harness is this is made from RG59 cable
using harnesses cut in multiples of one port wavelength compensated using the velocity factor of the coax so you did the data sheet for the velocity factor you can always find the technical specification of your coaxial cable from your cable supplier or manufacturer then uh, use that data for compensation when cutting the pacing harness so let's connect the Our coaxial cable for testing to the SWR connected to the thing connector and facing harness. Let's check the SWR response. So it's still on 145. We have uh, <coughs> partial deflection. difficult when you are used, uh, doing the video and calibrating your SWR at the same time so let's check 145 145 check the SWR response for the full deflection ok and then switch to SWR mode Let's see the response. We, oh, we have 1.5 on twin configuration, but that would change once we put up the antenna higher for usually I'm attaching a RF choke and see if the SWR response would change when using the RF choke so let's try that I will be pausing this video for the moment until I finish connecting the so this time we have now connected the RF choke <coughs> on our SWR connected to the radio. Let's check the full deflection. So we need to recalibrate the SWR meter. until we get the full deflection okay oops Let's see, we have full deflection, that's good. We are on 4 5 So let's switch to SWR position with the RF choke. Uh, we have the same frequency, we have the same response on the SWR, it's 1.5 on twin configuration. <coughs> so let's try to move the antenna a little bit higher than its current position it's just about uh, five feet from the ground although I'm on a third floor so I need to put the a little bit higher better lead out so uh, I'll be posting this Later, the additional. Video. 
okay na we managed to put the antenna a little bit higher uh, probably about 8 feet above the ground so we are at the third floor so it should be around 38 feet above the ground just as high as the electric post of Meral as you can see from the background so we also managed to reduce this WR reading a bit by down by one a uh, point one so let's check that if we put out if we put the RJ8 cable on the ground we are going to check the SWR response again on the same frequency so let's see the calibration if we have full deflection oops too much let me adjust it first let's see the deflection we move to SWR mode we actually remove the RF choke at the top of the SWR and see the readout we have full deflection at 145 on calibration mode let's move to SWR press the PTT we actually managed to reduce it by uh, point 0.2 so what, that's 1.3 SWR on twin configuration so let's put the RG8 caution, caution cable and test it on my base radio below uh -huh. let's do that so after connecting the RG8 I will be pausing this video and check out the SWR on my base radio This is the RG8 coaxial cable uh, that's mounted, not, not mounted, it's connected to my radio below, it's on the first floor. So let's put this, let's replace the my test cable, my test cable for, uh, which is RG8. sooner caution cable okay this is now connected to our RG coaxial cable connected to my is 2900 at the first floor okay let's do that I'll be turning it on this video So we have a nice setup at the moment. Let's see how far it can go. So now we are ready to test the four elements Yagi on the on my base setup. So as you can see at the back of the radio we have the RG8 cable without the RF choke. Let's see what is the SWR response. Let's put the SWR on the calibrate position and press the PTT on low power so the frequency is very quiet so it's okay to test let's see if we have a full deflection mm, adjust it a little bit oops mm -hmm. Okay, we have a full deflection on the SWR. So let's switch to SWR mode.
and see the SWR readout. DW10 whiskey share testing. So we have about 1.1 SWR on the twin configuration. But let's see if we put the RF choke, if we can make the SWR readout more uh, stable. So I, I will be putting the RF choke. I will need to turn up this video first and just uh, show you after I've done the So I already put the connection, the RF choke on my coaxial cable going through the SWR meter. Let's see if we have, we can see uh, let's see if the RF choke can make a difference on the SWR readout. So let's check the full deflection. I'm not sure if putting the lights at the back of the SWR is more clear or not. So without lights it's better. Set the radio to low. So we have full detection. Let's switch to SWR mode. As you can see, we don't have any deflection even if we press the PTT. So it's one is to one with the RF choke in place. But still without the RF choke, the readout is acceptable. It's 1.1. One one. Uh, a little bit uh, much low compared to our original uh, testing cable which is the RG58 sooner coaxial cable at uh, 50 ohms impedance so this one at uh, low power is giving a readout of 1 is to 1 SWR so let's try to increase the power to the maximum and recalibrate the SWR We have an um, almost perfect setup for our antenna twin configuration. So that's all for now, and thank you for watching. 73. This is DW1 Zulu Whiskey Share.